Well, it's 8.29 and I usually have to leave the house now. Hey everyone, good morning. It's Wednesday. I am running a little bit late. I didn't get up early enough this morning. Falling to pieces in my room. Are you on the chair? <sighs> I've got glasses marks on my nose because I forgot my glasses. They are next to my bed because I read before bed. So I'm wearing my Ray-Ban like emergency pair that I have the, the little nose bridge duvers and I love them. I love how they look because they're aviator style but my goodness they give me a headache and shocking atrocious lines, uh, big <laughs> gouges on my nose. Anyway, <laughs> I'm going to wear these because it's glary and I'm really not impressed with my nose gouges. So. You know, I actually not no I'm wearing no coat. It's a bit windy, but I've got no coat on because it's actually quite warm in the car. Also, let's just oh, I can't do this, I've got to take them off. There were a couple of questions on one of my YouTube videos and I wanted to answer them because it was to do with Launceston and I thought well I'll just answer it now. Life full of days has asked me a couple of questions. Is there a high crime rate in your area? Or which areas um, no not in my area but there are a couple of areas that are generally sort of known to have a bit more of a concentration of uh, crime or how do I put this without offending anyone that watches this that might live in those suburbs um, you can I think generally if you look at like the median house price or rental price in certain suburbs you can usually tell based off that number um, <laughs> there's like a line uh, on the map in Launceston and there's east of that line and then there's west of that line and the line is kind of like would you like me to do like a full just drive around Launceston video where I drive you to a different suburb every week if anyone's interested like comment below because I can do that I can do like you know a driving tour of Launceston and the suburbs and everything if you're interested I'm happy to do that this is a map of Launceston and I've zoomed in a little bit you see that green road that goes up here and it goes along here and it goes da, da, da. keep to the bottom part of that line Invermay, Ravenswood, Mowbray, Newnham, St Leonard's, not as bad, but yeah, those suburbs are a little more affordable for a reason. I would stick to south of that line. It's the A3 and the A8 roads, so maybe I'll put a visual on screen because I don't know if you can would have been able to see that properly how much is a four bedroom house to rent I don't know I would recommend going to realestate.com.au or domain.com.au and having a look at um, the current rentals for the areas like Riverside, West Launceston, East Launceston, South Launceston Youngtown, Prospect, Prospect Vale, Blackstone Heights, did I say Riverside? Yes, Lagana, it's a bit further out, it's about half an hour out of 25 minutes out of Lonnie. Those areas, have a look. Which areas are safe and good to live in? So those areas I just listed are pretty good. I like the western side of Launceston more and different view, different vibe. There's a lot of old suburbs here where there's a lot of old terrace houses because uh, of the history in Launceston. Then there's a lot of kind of newer suburbs. I've only lived here since October last year and, sorry, November 2023. I have visited frequently throughout my childhood. My mum lived here in the 70s, but I haven't had a huge amount to do with Launceston in terms of like living in, but there's like suburbs like Norwood, Trevallon, 
riverside. Grindelwald is a lovely little like settlement, Swiss style set settlement, slightly like along the western side of the Tamar River. Um, that are all re relatively close, West Launceston. East is probably more the affluent area of Launceston, East Lonnie. That's um, when the city was sort of established. That was where all the affluent people lived and it's still like that. Um, there's suburbs like uh, Newstead, I said Norwood. Kings Meadows is all right. It's sort of half and half, like it's in between. And there's also um, Perth, which is a bit further south of Launceston, not that far away, 15, 20 minutes um, highway, it's like c close. And Longford is a lovely, cute little town that is south of Launceston that's probably 20 minutes on the highway, same as um, Lagana in the north. Um, they're all lovely places to, to live, depending on how close you want to be to the centre of Launceston. I hope that helps. <laughs> I hope I've answered your questions. If you've got any more, let me know. Um, and in terms of like showing you um, cafes and stuff, I'm trying. I've got, I've got a little bit of a tight budget at the moment, so I haven't had a lot of um, opportunity to just go and frequent cafes uh, all the time. So that will be changing. I will try and make more effort to do that especially on a weekend. But I can give you like a list of places I recommend. I haven't been to many though, so it's on the list. Stay tuned for that and I will... I don't know if I want to put out a video solely for Launceston content because it's not really my purpose of my channel at the moment, so maybe. We'll see. <laughs> yeah, so anyway. I actually probably should stop talking now because I've got to finish editing uh, this week's vlog. Alert! Alert everyone! I'm changing the upload day and time for my vlogs purely to my own benefit so I can edit and export in a timely fashion. Uh, I thought I could sort of get everything edited and done before a Friday and it turns out I need an extra few days. So I'm going to start uploading my vlogs on Sundays in Australia at about 7 p.m. I think which turns into like very early in the northern hemisphere of Sunday morning and I'm still doing planning on doing sort of sit-down videos and they're gonna go on Wednesday so I'm actually reverting back to my original posting schedule which was Sundays and Wednesdays 7 p.m. <laughs> I tried a different way and it just doesn't work for me so there you go oh my god I haven't got earrings in how did I manage that I never not put earrings in. Oh, I feel naked. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's the grand final on Sunday, Saturday. It's exciting. My team is in it. Brisbane won the prelim, preliminary final. They won, came back at half time and like won by like two, I don't know. They, they won in the end. Oh, it was a very exciting, stressful game. So my team is in the grand final and they were in the grand final last year and they lost by two points. It was devastating. I'm going to stop talking now. <laughs> Bye. Good morning. Good morning. Um, it's Friday. Happy Friday. <laughs> uh, happy Friday. Yes. Um, the day has finally come. The day has finally come. I'm just getting ready for work. I've got a two day old like blow, blow dried hair so I haven't done my hair yet I'm just doing like a makeup look which is sort of what I this is sort of my I've only done one eye, eye with my mascara by the way um, this is sort of my day office daily makeup I'm loving right now but I was just doing my eyes and I need to tell you I had a compliment this week on my eyes from a colleague at work. Not in a like sleazy, inappropriate way, just a, wow, your eyes look really, <sighs> what did he say? He said, have you got something on your eyes? I think he meant like, uh, what are those things called? Lenses. I think he meant like contacts. I was like, no, why? The only thing I'd done differently that day, which I haven't, I don't usually bother. Actually, sometimes I do, but I haven't used this yet. And I used this 
on that day. And that was the day that he complimented my eyes. This is, it's kind of a weird compliment. Not weird, like, ugh, why would you compliment me on my eyes? But like, not the norm. Usually it's sort of a safer, like, oh, you, that's a lovely pair of shoes or a lucky bag or a nice coat. You know what I mean? So to have someone just be just genuinely nice and say, basically that my eyes looked really, I think they looked just defined, popped. I don't know. He wasn't, I didn't really know how to get it out, but he just said, oh no, whatever, you, whatever you've done looks really, I'm like, okay, <laughs> I'll keep doing it. I had this on my eyes, the Bobbi Brown eyeshadow stick, shadow stick, ombre cream stick long wear in the shade Golden Mink. And I've got it on my eyes right now. I'm not a fan of the double chin um, camera angle. So anyway, uh, I have this on and you literally, first it was the battery, then it was the memory card that got full. <laughs> I really shouldn't be doing this at all because it's 8.29 and I should be leaving the house. Anyway, so this is really like easy to apply. I literally just paint it on my eyes. Look how like it, it just glides. It's so nice. And then I get a where is it an eyeshadow brush and then I just sort of um blend it out so it's sort of not missing any space and that is and it lasts all day obviously and it just defines my eye a bit and gives it a bit more aliveness so this is like super fantastic for a morning daily <clears throat> this is a sample size I got this in a beauty loop from Mecca but buy one of these golden pink but I actually might even get some more colors I do have I do have a by Terry equivalent but this is a ombre black star but this is in bronze moon so this could be a bit more of a um, a liner maybe or a night smoky eye so you could even blend the two but I think this is like the equivalent version it's probably long wearing you can blend out with your finger and you could smudge it if you wanted uh, it does lose a bit of its sheen when you do that that ends up on your finger but you get the drift so anyway just <laughs> I just had to share how random but lovely getting a compliment about my makeup slash eyeshadow slash eyes was because I don't know people don't usually compliment you at work because it's a bit um it's a bit of a it's very hard to get off too with a um, baby wipe. My gosh, the by Terry one. I think it's time I dermaplaned this weekend because the hairs stick to my face otherwise. <clears throat> anyway, um, I'll check in with you later. Uh, Got to go because I'll be ultra late if I don't. Before I leave the house, maybe I'll show you what I'm wearing. But anyway, have a good day. <laughs> Good day and I'm excited for the weekend I was actually gonna to go to the supermarket after work um, but I think I'm, I'm gonna to go tomorrow instead when I'm just a bit fresher and I've got two other errands I need to run that are near the supermarket so I'm gonna to go to Coles supermarket which I don't actually shop at there's two main big supermarkets here um, that have been around forever and Coles and Woolworths I am a Woolworths girl I'm a Woolies gal. I shop at Woolworths. So, uh, I, I mean, I'm not, I have no problem with Coles and I've shopped at Coles many times, but Coles originated in Tassie. Fun fact. Yeah, no, I, I shop at Woolies most of the time, but there's a Coles near where I'm going tomorrow morning. So we'll go to Coles 
I've got to pick up a few extra things for the weekend. The uh, as as I mentioned earlier, it's the AFL Grand Final tomorrow. My team's playing, so I'm a bit excited. I was meant to be getting my hair done tomorrow in Burnie, but that didn't happen and I already had it done. Um, but it's lucky because my whole family have come down with gastro, so I probably wouldn't have gone. I wouldn't have been able to go anyway because I would have stayed with them. I would have stayed with mum and she's sick. So I would have had to cancel. I would have had to be the one that cancelled the hair appointment. So it's obviously, it wasn't meant to be. So I'm actually really happy now that I got my hair done last week. So I'm not doing Pilates because I didn't book because I wasn't going to be going. And yes, I know, darling, you're hungry. <sighs> the cats are hungry. Usually I come home and feed them straight away. Um... Yeah, because I wasn't actually going to be going anyway, I didn't book a class and it's full and there's a wait list that's a mile long. So I'm not going to do Pilates tomorrow. Um, but I'm anyway going to have a sleep in, which is going to be exciting. I look really pale in this light. Um, I just wanted to do two things. One, um, no, I've done one. I just wanted to, I've, so I, I think I said this morning I had a compliment um, about my eyeshadow. And <laughs> I've had another compliment today about my perfume. And this is a perfume I haven't, I haven't worn heaps, but it's new and I haven't shared it with you yet. So I wanted to tell you about my new perfume that I got a compliment for today. Um, and it's Gris Chanel by BDK. Now this is not a new perfume. It's in fact a very popular perfume. You may have heard of it. It's a niche perfumer. I got this off, um, there's a perfume YouTuber, I've forgotten her name. Monique? No. Oh my gosh, whatever her name is. Um, she's a beautiful girl. Anyway, she was like, it's one of her all-time favorite perfumes. And she basically convinced, convinced me, influenced me to buy this perfume. And I don't normally, like if I smelt this in the store, I wouldn't have bought it, put it that way. But um, also, what do you think of my lips? I've got the Tom Ford stick on the compliment came in not like straight away when I got to work it was probably 11 a few hours in to the perfume so I'm just going to tell you what is in the perfume it launched in 2019 and top notes cardamom fig and black tea middle notes are iris and bourbon vetiver and base notes are sandalwood and tonka bean so it's got a really nice woodsy vanillary ambery base i actually didn't realize there was iris in it so the the fig and the black tea it's just i don't know it's really comforting and nice but it's quite fresh it is quite an autumnal fragrance but i think you could you could definitely wear this all year round there's like i detect a bit of a minty note on the top and it does remind me of it's got a bit of a smoky like cigarette but covered up with perfume smell is that, does that sound strange? Like magazines, mint, and <clears throat> some strange tobacco-y cigarette, but masked in toothpaste or and uh, like a perfume or something, like a body spray, like someone's had a cheeky cigarette and then they tried to cover it up with perfume and you can still smell the cigarettes because it's they're super strong. The dry down's beautiful, but the top note, it's just totally different. It's a very dynamic perfume. Oh, yeah, so it's very fresh. And you know what? This is an all unisex perfume. There's an extract, which I haven't smelt, but I'm going to get a sample of, decant, to try. Apparently it's a bit more like less fresh and more uh, kind of more of a nighttime or an ultra wintry scent, but it's really beautiful. It's very unique and does not smell, for the words of the per person that gave me the compliment today, it doesn't smell like a, he didn't say basic pitch perfume um, or a designer. It, does, it just doesn't smell like a typical designer perfume or women's fragrance it's very very different so anyway yes yeah, so that's one of my latest perfumes and I've been waiting to trial it a few times before I even mention that I've got it but BDK Gris Chanel and actually heads up 
I'm gonna order a whole heap of the remaining BDK perfumes, like a decant, and do a another like test drive of all the perfumes because um, there's a few more, few more that I really want to try from BDK. So anyway, I'm gonna do that. And now I'm gonna feed you because you keep trilling at me. Spiced chai tea, someone else said. Hmm. Anyway, um, like it, I love it. It's it's spring here now, but it's still quite cool. Uh, like it was minus one this morning. Um, and today it only got to, I think 16, it's very warm today though. So um, I'm looking a little bit shiny at the end of the day. But yeah, I'm gonna um, feed the cats, have something to eat, relax, do a bit of editing and then I'm gonna, oh, I might wa wash my face quite early today actually. Wash my face and then off to bed. What's that darling? You hungry? Yeah? Oh, come on in. Mm. <laughs> You're so chatty Cathy. Yes. Come on. Mm. Oh, look what you've done. What have you done here? So B usually eats Fluffy's leftovers. She hasn't left too much, has she? Have you a little flu? Her flu. started watching the movie Wolves on Apple TV with Brad Pitt and George Clooney and now all I want to do is watch the oceans um, 11, 12 and 13 movies. Still using this and I'm actually really liking this. It's lovely. I just have to use a lot. Um, oh, I don't think I've got enough on my hands. Yeah, so this uh, movie, I'm halfway through and then I was like, I might actually make myself a hot chocolate and watch the rest in bed. We haven't gotten to the eyes yet. I need more. Is there anything better than washing your face at the end of the day? Oh, I will wait. You tell me I'll wait. I've started planning my content for the next uh, for the rest of the year actually is there any anything any suggestions for um, content for like the festive end of the year or vlogmas I don't know if I'm going to do a full vlogmas because it was a huge struggle last year I don't think I prepared it enough in time but this year I'm going to start filming content in November so I can get ahead of myself. I just don't know if I'll have like enough. I'm trying to make my vlogs interesting, or trying to include something interesting or different in each vlog for my weekly vlogs because it's just my like normal life, week to week. And aside from the moment, there's not a lot going on. There's not much happening. It's not that exciting. So it's just kind of everyday life. Is that I just is it interesting enough? Um, I mean, I can know, uh, yeah, got any requests or things you want me to go over or include or show you, please tell me, is there anything specific to Tassie or Launceston, let me know. I'm trying to think of fun different things, like we're doing, you know, perfume of the week, uh, and I'm actually going to start doing home hack. Like trying things like you know when you see stuff on TikTok or Instagram or YouTube even and it's like just tricks as just things that you can do that you wouldn't normally think of doing or like home remedy DIY skincare um, all that sort of thing because I, I really I'm into kind of into all that I'm not kind of into it I am into all that so I'm gonna try and do one 
week. So if you've got any suggestions, at home, do it yourself foot spa detox foot spa the at home teeth whitening toothpaste i found that on pinterest oh and pinterest is the other place there's loads of like just things that you can do at home um with household items and stuff like that so i'm gonna try and start including those sort of things in my vlogs i'm just gonna do like one per weekend and try them out see if they're actually good that's the end of this vlog. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you back here next week with another vlog on Sunday at 7pm. Have a great week. Bye guys.